morning and welcome to Locker Room OT live at wearegreenbay.com. Joining us tonight, DePere head football coach Chad Michaelwitz and his middle linebacker Sam Hafner, everybody. What's up, boss? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, big guy? Good. All right, I was there Friday night. How good did that first victory of the season feel? Yeah, you know, you hope you get there earlier. For us, it took week three this year, but uh, things finally came together in all three phases, and we got a big victory at home. So, Sam, what was that locker room like after? It was, it was really good just to get the pressure just lifted off our shoulders, and we could finally celebrate, feel good, and just move on to the next game. You know, Coach, the group of teams in the FRCC, and I, I, you could probably agree with me, you've got Bayport, and then you got everybody else, at least this year. Yeah, it's, it's a strange year. There's usually uh, another horse in the race that you say maybe they challenge Bayport. You know, coincidentally, we're the last team to beat them, and it was four years ago. Right. Um, but this year, it's everyone kind of just jockeying for position, trying to qualify for playoffs, maybe put yourself in position for a seed. But, you know, as far as everybody below Bayport right now, it's, it's, a, it's a, a dogfight. I mean, I'm looking at the scoreboard in every, each of the first three weeks. You guys got to probably talk about it because you look at who beat who, and you can't predict it. From yeah. Ashwaubenon to Preble to you guys to Southwest to Spolaski to, I mean, it's just a mess and a good mess to have. Yeah. You don't really know who, like, what a team is and how good a team is until you play them just because there's so much unpredictability. Like, um, I think Ashwaubenon beat Preble, which I didn't expect that to happen. Preble looked really good against us. Right. But it's just, it's like this whole different mix that you just don't know what to expect. So it's definitely something that you really don't know until you play them. And... I mean, Chad, they're high school kids. It's up and down, and you've got things in school and girls and whatever. They just, I mean, like, you, <laughs> sometimes you don't know where their head is at in practice or on Friday night. Yeah, I mean, you, a guy that started coaching in college, and then, I, you know, it's my ninth year at the high school level, but, you know, you're dealing with teenagers, and sometimes they have bad days, and sometimes there's girls in their heads and, and things like that. Um, but it's impossible to predict. You know, you look at scrimmage tape, and, you know, we always scrimmage Stevens Point. You want to go up against a huge team. We handle them pretty good. So then you're kind of wondering, you know, are we better than we thought we are? Where are we really? You find out you really don't know anything. And you, get right. to the, you get to the game, and, and special teams get involved, and turnovers play a huge role. And, you know, we found that adversity strikes, and sometimes it's hard to get that momentum back. Well, you beat Sheboygan South, got there at halftime 10 nothing. They come right out, Sam, and all of a sudden you got a 10-6 ball game and you knew you had your hands full, right? Yeah, uh, so we, we knew that we had to not let them score, obviously, just because offense has had some difficulties getting in the end zone. So we knew we just cannot let them score. We have to make sure that our offense can get the ball and they have to score and we'll win the game. So it was just, they definitely challenged us uh, coming out of that uh, uh, half, but uh, we definitely put our foot down and really showed them that. And Chad, uh, he mentions that, but that last third quarter, the last four or five minutes, you really felt that momentum shift, and it just carried into the fourth, and you ended up blowing them out 31 to 6. Yeah, that's something we talked about all week. You can't fabricate emotion. You can't fabricate enthusiasm. It's got to come from within. There's no magic button I can push as a head coach that's going to make 11 teenagers suddenly do something they're not capable of. We always talk about your, you don't rise to the occasion. You rise to the level of your training. And when you try to practice adverse situations and things like that, you never can replicate game speed. And that was the message in the locker room all week. When that wave of emotion happens collectively as a unit, something special is going to happen. And that's what you saw was that yeah. outpour at the end of the third quarter and into the fourth. How tough was that week before, though? Southwest, another deal. It was the opposite. You guys had the lead, yep. and then you let it slip away in a defensive grudge match. Two kickoff returns for a touchdown in that one and you lose 14-10 right at the end of the game. Yeah, that was definitely something that was a really tough loss just because we had fought down to like the very last snap. So it was, for us, it was really tough to come into practice that next week, but we knew that we have to get a win this week so we can make sure our season doesn't go to waste. You know, we have to get this first win, get that wave moving, and then we'll be able to get more wins and go on with our season. We had Coach Gresson on last week and uh, that season opener. Just couldn't get her going, right? They had, a, they had a great defensive night getting the shutout 28 they, zip. They did, and, and I want to discredit you know, anything that they did, but we turned the ball over six times. Right. And, and you, you're not going to beat anybody, no matter who you're playing, if you turn the ball over six times. And We didn't even give ourselves an opportunity to get anything going. And, and quite frankly, we're on the 12-yard line at the end of the first half, and, and I 
me, the head coach, decided to push the ball down the field. We throw a pick six, and it's 14-0. And really, uh, I truly believe that could have been a different situation had we just kind of ate the football there and went to halftime 7-0 and regrouped. But, you know, when it rains, it pours. It wasn't our night. We're not going to sit and dwell on it. All we can do is move forward and on to the next one. Well, I'll tell you this. I feel for you because I coached my son's Bellevue flag football team, <laughs> and I did the same exact thing last year. <laughs> We're down 7 nothing. I'm thinking I'm going to be so smart, and I throw my pick six the other way, and I'm like, sorry, guys, that's on me. <laughs> that, that'll happen. All right, schedule coming up. The next five games, and five is the magic number to get into the postseason. Big one at home on Friday night against Notre Dame, who's also 1-2. and two. They can ill afford to fall to 1-3, and three, so this is... I mean, it's going to have a playoff intensity, isn't it, Sam? Yeah, it's definitely going to be a really big game for us. It's our Redbird Rally, so there's going to be a lot of people there. It's going to be a lot of excitement, and we're really just hoping we can come out and win. Yep, and after that, you got at Bayport. That's going to be an uphill battle. But then home against Pulaski, they're surprising 3-0. They squeaked by Sheboygan South in Week 1. Then at Manitowoc, Sheboygan North, maybe make some hay there, and then you might be playing that last game against Eshwabanon, both of you. So we're not trying to get into the postseason. Absolutely. You know, for, for us, Eshwabana, we like playing big games at the end of the year. For a number of years, it was us in Bayport. They give us Eshwabana on this year. That's a, a rivalry that's existed between De Pere and Eshwabana for a long time. Those are the types of games you want to play. You want to play meaningful games in October and into November if you're fortunate enough. So, you know, we're looking forward to that, but we're, we're truly have the one and all mentality right now, and we just need to take care of business against Notre Dame. All right, big round of applause for Chad Michaelwitz, head coach of De Pere, and Sam Hafner, their middle linebacker fellows. Thanks Best for of luck the rest you. of the season. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you at home for watching Locker Room OT.